the guys is Dr. Sam Robbins. There's lots of ways to increase your testosterone levels. Guys always ask me, what's the best way? Well, there's lots of ways. Unfortunately, a lot of them maybe don't work that much or whatever they increase, you're not gonna notice very much as far as positive effects. However, there are four of the best ways that you can increase your testosterone levels. And I made a video about that. So go ahead and watch that right now. Now, today I'm going to quickly discuss the four clinically proven ways to increase your testosterone levels naturally. And this is from within your body called endogenously. Now, this is an important topic for men, but also for women as well. Remember, both sexes have the same hormones, but just only in different amounts and ratios. Now, healthy testosterone levels is important for optimal health bone density, positive mood, sex drive, maximal muscle and strength, and also disease and cancer prevention, again, in both sexes. Now, the good news is that many people, including doctors, are now aware of the numerous benefits of optimal testosterone levels. Unfortunately, many people are looking for a quick fix with um, exogenous, which means from the outside, testosterone, such as injections, creams, and pills. Unfortunately, when you add testosterone into your body, it has many negative side effects, if it's not managed properly. And it can also actually cause the opposite effects over time. So doing it natural is just much better because you won't have the negative side effects and you'll easily be able to maintain all the benefits safely in the long run. It's always better to do it naturally before you try drugs anyway. Besides, even if you wanted to take exogenous testosterone, you know, whether it's injections, creams, or pills, utilizing today's natural methods will only enhance the positive effects and give you even more benefits. Okay, so let's start first with your diet. Now, what you eat is just as important as what you don't eat because food controls your hormones. So let's start with your protein. About 25 to 35% of your calories should come from protein, and protein sources should be from fish, eggs, and free-range grass-fed bison and buffalo. In my opinion, all other sources, even the free-range you know, chicken and cow and beef, still have lots of negative hormones, the estrogens and, and growth hormones, despite what the government or what the label tells you. Now, make sure you also have whole eggs daily because the cholesterol in the eggs is needed to produce testosterone and other important sex hormones. And I believe about two or three whole eggs daily is fine. And don't worry about the cholesterol. It won't increase your cholesterol levels. It's basically a myth for the most part. Just make sure that it's free-range eggs. And also try to have the eggs raw if you can, and if not, keep the yolk a bit runny and soft. Also, don't overcook your protein or fry, and that includes the eggs. And also, stay away from soy. It causes an increase in your estrogen levels. Then we have your carbohydrates. About 40 to 55% uh, of your diet should come from healthy carbohydrates. Uh, vegetables, fruits, lentils, uh, yams, quinoa, and some white rice is fine in small amounts. Um, eliminate or reduce all sugars, um, man-made carbs, and processed foods, which typically is like chips, pasta, breads, and so forth. And then we have fats. All right, make sure you have some healthy fats every day. About 25 to 35% of your diet should be from healthy fats. It helps produce many of your sex hormones, very important, including your testosterone. Now, most people eat the wrong forms of fats, which can actually lower testosterone. Good fats are raw, coconut oil, macadamia nut oil, um, hemp oil, avocados, raw nuts, seeds, and again, egg yolks. Okay, so let's move on to the second clinical way of improving your testosterone levels, and that's through exercise. Now, the right type of exercise can have dramatic effects on your hormones, positive or negative. All right, lifting heavy weights, about six to 10 repetitions, increases your testosterone levels and you only need about three or four times a week don't go on five or six times a week because too often we'll actually do the opposite because it'll increase your stress hormone cortisol keep your workouts short about 45 minutes or less basically go quickly and go fast lastly eliminate intense cardio such as running because it'll actually lower your testosterone levels and increase cortisol, your stress hormone. It's better to actually take a brisk 30-minute walk about three or four times weekly, preferably outside in the sun. Okay, so let's now move on to the third clinical way of improving testosterone levels, and that's through lifestyle. And lifestyle changes has more to do with stress management and rest. Now, sleep is very important. Most of us just don't get enough of it. So try to get to bed earlier and you know, basically get better sleep at night. And squeeze in a little nap if you can during the day. Even 20 minutes will do wonders. Um, try to reduce negativity in your life because it increases your stress hormone, cortisol, and burns out your adrenal glands. Now, this means negative thoughts, 
information, media, as well as just negative people. Now, you can't always eliminate it, but you can certainly reduce some of the negatives in your life. And finally, the fourth clinical way of improving your testosterone levels is through supplements, which is natural herbs and vitamins. Now, most of us are deficient in numerous herbs, vitamins, and minerals. In fact, it's estimated that we would need to eat at least 27,000 calories or more to get all the nutrients our body needs. And it's even higher as we age due to poor absorption. Now, because of this, I highly suggest you take specific herbs, vitamins, and minerals to help boost your testosterone levels naturally from within. Not only will your libido and sex drive increase, but you'll feel younger and have more energy, increase your muscle mass, and lose the belly fat because of the naturally higher testosterone levels. And because of this, you know, happens all naturally from within your body, it's safe for long-term use. Now, some of the most effective and clinically proven herbal remedies for boosting your testosterone levels are, um, which is one is called testafin fenugreek extract. You have Avena sativa, Tonghat ali extract, maca root, Bulgarian um, tribulus terrestris extract, uh, stinging nettle, L-arginine, zinc, and copper. And actually, there's a few more, and I've listed them in detail under this video in the description area for those of you who want additional information. Now, in summary, eating better, exercising daily, and managing your stress levels takes time, so please be patient. Try to make small improvements daily, and over the next few weeks and months, you'll have new habits, a healthier body, and optimal testosterone levels. If you want to speed up the process, if you're looking for faster results, by adding in specific supplements, herbs, and vitamins can make dramatic improvements, plus it's easy and it's convenient. Now, under this video, I've listed one of my favorite solutions that I personally use, so Maybe give it a try and let me know how it works for you. And that's it for today. You know, I hope this video was helpful and gave you more clarity. If you'd like more information about this or similar topics, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be making more highly researched videos aimed at keeping your entire body and mind healthy so you can look and feel young. And if you think someone else might benefit from today's topic, please share the health with email, social media, text, or any way to help someone you care about. And again, if you'd like additional information on the key ingredients that are clinically proven to boost your testosterone levels naturally and increase your sex drive in just a few days, again, without the use of harmful prescription drugs or following a restrictive diet, please visit the link in the description area below for additional information and helpful tips. And as always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.